Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So this one is going to be a short one since, let's be honest, no one watches long computer videos. So today we're going to look at how to import an existing resource into Pulumi. So like, let's say you are getting into infrastructure as code, but you already have kind of like your infrastructure running and you don't want to kind of like have to manually create everything. Pulumi has this like import feature that allows you to do this. If you want to learn more about how to set up Pulumi and everything, I have my how to how to deploy Azure web application with Pulumi that I do how to start and everything. If you haven't watched that, shame on you. Make sure to watch that, subscribe to my channel and watch every single video five times. Getting back into this. So the thing is for each one of the resources, you'll have to go to their documentation page. And here I'm just going to import a SQL server that basically you're just saying import Azure native SQL and then server, then you name it whatever you want. You enter the path to your resource. So like subscriptions, your subscription ID, your resource group, uh, sorry, you, you do resource groups and then your resource group name, then providers, Microsoft SQL servers, and then the name of your server. So as you can see here, we can get all the information from there. So resource group name, the server name, the subscription, and so on. So the next, you are going to run this. Plume is going to read the information from your Azure infrastructure and import that resource into it. And it will actually give you the code so you know what to put in here. So it has the right features that you have set up manually. So it's actually a great way of like adding stuff. So for example, if you're creating your Pulumi uh, infrastructure as code and, and you only have dev that you have set up manually in the portal and everything, it gives you a great starting point. You might have to change obviously the SKUs from dev to prod and everything, but it gives you a great starting point to start your infrastructure. And then you just modify that, run it, and you have infrastructure as code. So as we can see here after it finished, it, it kind of gives you like a class that you can use and everything. So if we grab this, we copy and we paste it here, it really sets up everything. I mean, I, and here I didn't actually do it. The, so they do the import differently. I didn't do it like that. So I just have to add the Pulumi to the front of this. But as you can see here, it named the variable, however we named the import. And same here, it named it like that in uh, Pulumi. Then it created the admin. It got that one from uh, here that I called the SQL admin. And then I actually have administrators. So it copied the Active Directory administrators and actually made it Azure AD only. So all the stuff that I had set up manually in the portal, now it's here as code and it allows me to kind of copy and paste it and everything. So the only last thing is it actually adds it as a protected resource. So anything you created manually, you'll add it as a protected resources that it's harder to delete in Pulumi just so you don't delete it by mistake. So that's how you add an existing uh, resource to Pulumi. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.